Hello friends, welcome to this video on Chebyshev's inequality part 2. We are going to apply Chebyshev's inequality to problems and see how better we can find the bounds for the required questions. The question is, a fair die is tossed 720 times. We have to use Chebyshev's inequality to find a lower bound for the probability of getting 100 to 140 sixes. So, we have been asked to find the probability of getting 100 to 140 sixes. So, which is termed as our success over here? Getting a 6 using a die is termed as a success. Usually, the problem like tossing of a toy, coin, tossing of a die, okay, a picking of a card, all these quantities follow binomial distribution. When it comes to binomial distribution, the outcomes are just two in nature. That is, you have either a pass or a fail, a win or a loss. So, you have exactly two outcomes out of it. Then, we will be applying a Bernoulli trial or you call it to be a binomial distribution. Now, in this case, what happens over here is, the coin or sorry, the die is tossed how many number of times? 720 times. So, my n becomes equal to 720 over here. When we toss the die, which is termed as a success, probability of getting a 6 is termed as a success. So, what is the probability of getting a 6 when you roll a die? So, this gives us P is equal to 1 by 6 because the numbers on the die are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, only when I get a 6, it is a success. So, out of the total number of 6 chances, getting a 6 can happen only one time. So, P is 1 by 6. So, what is going to be failure? The failure Q is Whenever you get any other number apart from 6, then it becomes a failure. So, the number of chances you have to fail is going to be 5 in nature, excluding the 6. So, it becomes 5 by 6. Now, we know that the mean of a binomial distribution is given by the formula n into p. And the variance of the binomial distribution is given by the formula n p q. Using these two formulas, we will be able to compute the basic requirement for a Chebyshev's inequality, which are my mean and variance. So now mean is nothing but 720 into 1 by 6. So that makes it as 120. Now n p q 720 into 1 by 6 into 5 by 6. So now this gives the value as 100. So now I know that for my problem n is going to be 720. My mu which is the mean of the data is going to be 120. Variance which is denoted by sigma square is going to be equal to 100. Now, let capital X denote the action of getting a 6. So, in this case, I want how many 6s? The target is between 100 to 140 6s. So, what I require is probability of number of 6s to range between 100 to 140. So, x denotes the number of 6s. I want the number of 6s to range between 100 and 2, 140. Now, this has to be compared with the two formulas of your Chebyshev's inequality and whichever is going to be more suitable, we go for it. Now, look into the inequality which is present inside the probability. What inequality we have over here? Over here, we have this as less than or equal to inequality. 
of the two formats of Chebyshev's which has a less than in your probability. That is going to be our next question. We see that in the first quantity, the less than or equal to inequality over here in the question, but in the formula, we have greater than or equal to inequality. In the second part, we see that within the probability, we have a less than or equal to inequality. So, which is going to correspond to the quantity which is required by us? The second formula. So, I am going to apply my second formula which contains less than or equal to inequality in this structure. So, I have probability of x minus mu less than or equal to k sigma to be greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by k square. I have probability of x minus, I know the mean value is 100, less than or equal to k times of, how about my sigma value, my sigma square is going to be 100, so my sigma will be equal to 10, okay, mean is 120, sigma is 10, over here, sorry for this, mean is going to be 120 and sigma is going to be equal to 10. So, x minus 120 less than or equal to k10 greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by k square. As we know that modulus of x less than or equal to a means I can expand it as minus a less than or equal to x less than or equal to a. So, this can be rewritten as minus 10k less than or equal to x minus 120 less than or equal to 10k. This is greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by k square. Now, balance this 120 to both sides of your quantity. So, we have this as probability of minus 10k plus 120 less than x less than or equal to 10k plus 120 is greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by k square. Now, go back to check. What is the requirement? What is our requirement? Our requirement is probability of 100 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 140, getting between 100 to 146. Is. So now compare it with the format, getting between 100 to 146. Is. So now on comparison with my left hand side or with the right hand side, I can get the value for k easily. Both of them will give us the same answer. Let us go with the right hand side. 10k plus 120 equals 140. 10k equals 140 minus 120. 10k equals 20. So this gives us k is 2. On substituting, we have probability of 100 less than x less than 140 is greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by k square. What is k square? 2 square. So, that makes it as 4. So, this gives me that the value is going to be d by 4. That is, when I toss the dice 720 times, the probability of getting a 6 between 100 to 140 times is going to be greater than or equal to 3 by 4. For this case, whether you fix the probability of success as getting a 6 or whatever be the number. So, whether it is going to be getting a 2 or getting a 4, getting a 3 or whatever be it, always the probability of success remains as 1 by 6 and always the probability of failure remains as 5 by 6. So, the problem will give you the same approach whatever be the number that turns out on the dice. So, the problem can be evaluated in a similar way for any number of the quantity that turns up on the type. Thank you.